What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we got upper body, some chest, maybe some arms. And um, what I want to actually tell you guys is when you're training for being an athlete or being you know faster, more explosive, I feel like the first staple in that training should be strength. I think everybody should focus on their strength first because what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you a strong foundation for everything else. So increasing your speed, increasing your explosive power. Strength needs to be that base, you know, for just period. You need something to work off of because if you got speed and you got no strength, it's kind of hard to build up strength. It's, just, it's harder to build up strength than anything else in my personal opinion. Now, today we got upper body. We're gonna go through just some we're just, we're just gonna fuck shit up, bro. We're just gonna, you know, we got, we got a new outside area right here. Well, this used to be where like the boxing ring was, which nobody fucking used. We, we, I've been here for what, two and a half years now. That boxing area literally fucked up this whole, like the vibe of this gym. He finally got rid of it. So we got like a whole new workout area outside, out here, uh, more stuff over there. And uh, today, we gonna focus on incline. What I got is a set of about, what, five reps, five to six reps for five sets. Everything full range of motion. Hit that chest, extend all the way out, lock out. We're not, we're not, we're not, not titty punching. We're not titty punching today, okay? Full reps, everything. If I was there watching you, I'm gonna be on ass like an NFL scout. Not full rep, don't count. Got, got just chest all the way up. I want to see those elbows lock out. See, and at the end of the day, for people who, who, who aren't, who ain't got that push, you got to push it. Push to the limit. You got to Rick Ross this shit. When you fully extend, you got to think of it as like that, that, that extra F you when you push the shit out of somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because you can push somebody like this. You can, you can, you can give them a little tap. I'm like, oh, that was a weird push. You know what I'm saying? But when you can extend that bitch, that's like, Yo, yeah, like, fuck you, bro. You know what I'm saying? That lockout push. We, we, we building for lockout push strength, you feel me? Uh, quick build up. I'm glad this area is open too, man, cause damn, more people coming in this bitch. I be here early. This is my second workout today, by the way. I, I did this earlier today already, but now I was like, damn, this is a good workout, let me film it. <laughs> so I'm here again, uh, but, yeah, hella people here when I come. I'm like, damn, wish y'all niggas would leave. I don't even know y'all. I'm fucking new. Leave. And uh, so he's gonna actually extend the gym. Um, this whole area, you see where it's kind of blocked off over here where the punching bags are. This whole area is gonna be open. And um, hopefully we can get up to like run some turf or some shit all the way through. And then he said he wants a basketball court all the way down. And uh, yeah. Paul likes to come over here. You know what I'm saying? Throw some bows. Then we got this full area all the way over here. Nobody's lifted this tire yet but me. I've lifted it up to my waist. I haven't got it fully over. I can lift this one up like all the time though. It's like thousand some pounds, yeah. So we got this full area now. Bench, cage. At least we got two more squat racks. Um, Cause that we definitely needed that. Uh, more bench area, incline chest. We got an assault bike, so we could definitely do some stuff with that. Be on some, be on my Obi Vincent. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Obi man. If you want to collab, man, let me know. I'll be down for that. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot more to come. I finally got a hyper extension machine. I've been wanting one of those for a minute. Like bro, like I'm here benching. I'm here incline bench. I got Black Pine. I got Black Panther here. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, T'Challa. I got Wolverine, Spider-Man, Captain America, Thor, Colossus, and then freaking Iron Man. I love you 3000. Come on, man. I don't, I mean, I know like, like we could have picked, we could have picked somebody better than Colossus to be right here. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, we do got Hulk all the way over there, but Colossus, nigga? I would have preferred you to have Deadpool right there. Who the hell talk about Colossus? Besides shrimp, colossal shrimp. That's all I want. Ant-Man. Colossus. Yo, who was the hypest? I think the hype when X-Men first came out, when X2. The hypest moment for me, straight up Nightcrawler. That was the livest 
part of X-Men out of all of them. X-Men one, two, three, out of all of them. If you, if you don't agree, I don't give a fuck. Nightcrawler, bro, I want to be that nigga so bad, bro. Straight up. The best superhero. The best superhero movie was shit. It's gonna be one of the Avengers, 100%. What, 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 what was you thinking? Dark Knight. Dark Knight? No, come on now. And Dark Knight didn't touch me emotionally. Like you watch Endgame and all them, all the Avengers, you that shit hit your soul. Come on now, Gamora, Rose Stark, fucking um, Black Widow, bro. Come on, man. Uh, did you even watch them? Do you remember? Right, do you do, do you, every name that I just named right now? Did did that touch you in any type of way? I'm not really a superhero. Guy. See, <laughs> that we shouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> Uh, Groot? <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah, I should have, uh, yeah. We might have to uh, take some Instagram clips of me benching this earlier <laughs> and throw it in this video instead. <laughs> Dead ass. We might just have to do that. Just hitting this twice in the same day. It's, it's pretty, uh, shit's hidden. I feel fucking, goddamn. My body feel like when Mr. Krabs, the episode of Mr. Krabs, you find out how you look like without a shell. That's how I'm feeling right now. Just soft. Oh, damn. All right. Uh, you, you guys already know. Full outfit, alpha clothing from head to toe, well, from head to ankles, from ankles to toes, we got Reebok. You already know, no code for Reebok. These are the Black Noors. I still, you know, I call them the Black Noors, but we got the Reebok shoes going on. We got the Alpha Joggers, Tech Joggers, and uh... Damn, I had the shirt on all day. I'm a dirty motherfucker. I'm dirty. Anyways, Alpha T, use code Aftermath, 50% off. You already know. Twitch streams, twitch.tv slash FB Aftermath TV. I might go live again after this video. We pumping out the content, goddammit. Pumping the shit out. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm back here putting the putting the pedal to the metal. I'm back here in the, I'm in the Shelby GT, baby. I'm putting all the gas out. Giving y'all all the works. I was, I, and I told Paul, like, I was realizing why this shit heavy because I ain't had no music on playing. Music will give you a 20% strength boost. I don't know how you be working out with no music. I do, I wear AirPods. Yeah, but last time you were just there, literally cool. looking yeah, at dead cool. space doing flies. I'm like, wow, this nigga has no headphones on. That's crazy. One time, you know that song? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Look push a T, bro. It's push a T. You don't know about that? Oh, man. Oh, shit, boy. They, uh, yeah, it's push your T, bro. Of course it go hard. Push your T and Tyler the Creator. All right, that's a whole nother full. <laughs> ah. I let you nigga seven on my mind. I got trouble on my mind. Will you say something? Definitely heard that song. Huh? Yeah, I've heard that song. Before. Oh, yeah. I'm getting to it. I got one more set. That's what I would put on these walls. If I had a gym, my shit would be hella 90s thing. I'd have Reptar on this bitch. A big ass mural of just like a reptile. Yo, I gotta find me some Nick hoodies and, and, and stuff. My girls, don't, she don't want me buying no more hoodies because I got like 30 of them. I got more hoodies than anything else. What size hoodie you In a closet, huh? What size hoodie you wear? Like large XL. All right, I got one more set left. Uh, I'm like, bitch, where your man? Stop staring at my side piece. <laughs>
All right, let's head inside. All right, so we got our barbell work done. Usually what I do on my like two to three chest days throughout a week is whatever I do on barbell, I do the opposite. Uh, well, not the opposite, but the uh, let's say I did incline on barbell, right? So barbell's done. We're moving on to chest, so we're gonna hit dumbbells now to have a balance in my unilateral strength. So therefore, we got that, that full one-sided one barbell strength done. Now we're moving to more so of a unilateral strength. We're gonna go flat bench, and then we're gonna do uh, my heavy sets of like eight or so um, for, for the dumbbells. So here I'm trying to be as explosive as possible with each rep, just boom, 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 pump it out. Not everything needs to be super heavy. Not everything. Remember that. Doing speed work, you're doing hot, uh, max reps work. There's a lot of damage to help build muscle also. And further, you keep your body from adapting and throwing, throwing your muscles everywhere for better development. Bring us back together, feels so good. This is, this is the song I used to listen to when I was in Hollister. Hollister put me on a lot of, a lot of shit, a lot of vibes. I used to work there too. What'd you say? I worked there for like two days. You worked there for two days? I worked there for like half a year. Hollister used to, you just be in there, I'm like, damn, this song actually kinda, kinda hit. And at first, when I first went in, I'm like, damn, I gotta listen to this fucking music all the time. And then I'm in there, I'm like, folding some clothes. Oh, shit. Come here, girl. Bro, I was terrible. <laughs> you was terrible at it? Terrible. Hey, it was like, uh, be in the front and look good. <laughs> That's literally what they say. That's literally. And then I tried to do, I tried to, bro, it's crazy to me how $100 was so important. And like, $100 is a lot of money. And there's this one day out of the, out of the year where, they did like for four hours, you work for four hours, you get a hundred dollars. And it was like shirtless models, whatever, something. You'd be like in the front of the store and you'll get a hundred dollars for four hours of work. And just to think that I used to be so excited for that hundred dollars. <laughs> for those four hours, hundred dollars, like damn. Bro, I think I was on like 825 an hour back then. 820, bro, yo, same. Bro, 820, happy. Seven, two, two, 213, I think, was uh, for when I was a waiter. It was two thirteen an hour. Yeah, now it's now it's yeah. now it's minimum wage. Actually, I think yeah. so. They get tips on top of like what? I think minimum wage is like thirteen an hour. California. Yeah, California is like thirteen. Not Bro, Texas, not Texas. I still like seven yeah. or is seven or is it no, three? It's like two. Two? two? Yeah. Still. Oh like, damn. Like anything, it's all tips. Damn. But California? California's minimum wage. I fuck around and if I ever go broke. I'm, I'm gonna be a waiter again. Um, Cause I don't know how to do nothing else. <laughs> I don't know how to do nothing else, chat. Uh, uh, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bro, I'm so lazy. I've been just been thinking of shit just to, damn, I'm like, damn, is there an easier way to use dumbbells? Uh, I'm like, damn, bro. I gotta do all this work to lift the weight I'm already lifting. I gotta lift the shit first, get it in the right position. Chat, you might feel the same way as me, cause, damn, bro. And I gotta go up in weight, and I gotta lift the shit to the second rack. Uh, programs are 50% off, use code Natty. Nah, but like, for real though, I'm going up in weight now. I'm gonna do single arm, cause I don't feel like grabbing both of them. Which is harder. Oof. If you're on my streams, you already know. Free broski, third world, baby. I will do a set of five, five sets, 15 or 20 reps of flops. We're not gonna do that, because I did that earlier already. What we're gonna do now is go to some triceps, 
gonna do about four sets of 20. This is what I call the V bar. Especially if you see in my program, this is what the V bar is. Do three sets of 20, and then go overhead, do three sets of 20. Or like I was crumping. <laughs> but my French people, y'all know about Strome. If you, if you like just good music, I don't know what the hell he be saying. I don't speak French. I'm not from Belgium or nothing. Bro, my nigga be going off. I'm like, damn, this shit sound good. I wish I could understand it. But that's how it is. I feel like it's like how other cultures listen when listen to Michael Jackson. Like, they probably didn't understand what he was saying fully, but it sound good. You know what I'm saying? So, Strome, I listen to him. Who the fuck did this shit? Set to 20. Dips. I hate these shits. These shits burn more than anything, to be 100% honest. Ooh, that tricep vein coming. Right there. I see that? It's coming in, baby. It's coming in. Video 50, 50 pull ups and 100 push ups. I think you gotta do it in under five minutes. If you guys like to that video, comment below. That's a lot, yeah? That's a lot of work the in five minutes. I know, I was like, I, I, was, I was watching people do it, and I was like, damn, why aren't they doing like back to back? They're like, do one first and then do the other one. I'm like, I would, I would rest, I would do push ups to rest. I would like knock out 10 and 10. Just back and forth, just constantly. No, no rest. Like push ups, push ups, like, like push ups, push ups, pull ups. Because the pull ups would be harder to do. Yeah. That's way too hard. I can do 20, but after 20, I'm gonna be burnt out in a row. Yeah, I'll spread it out. Then. Like, like I, I, you know, 20 in a row, 25 if I really push it, but I'm gonna be like at a commission for the next minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How swole am I on a scale of one to swin? Am I swollen? Am I, I got that swine look? I'm fat steps, you know? I don't even want to be this big, bro. A lot of y'all niggas don't even understand. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> bro, like, but, but like, to me, I don't look, I don't look big. To everybody else, I look big. That's how anyone is, How I feel, I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to be this big. I don't. I never, I never wanted to be 240 pounds, Paul. If it was my life, and I had it my way, I'd be, I'd stick between 220 pounds and 230 for the rest of my life. 240 is just way out of, out of, like, don't know how I got here, but I'm here. And I'm trying to get away from it. All right, chat. YouTube, my Twitch and my YouTube people. 
and everybody else in between. Catch you guys later, man. I hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that post notification, man, so you guys know as soon as I drop a video, y'all are on it. Leave a comment. Help me with the algorithm, man. You need that A-Clan blood tie back. You know what I'm saying? So get with it. Hit the notification button. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. You already know. Catch me on live streams. I'm about to go live again. This is for the second time today. Also, I'll be doing something new. I'm getting more videos out. My strength's going up. I'm feeling better. I'm losing some fat. Um, so I have decided that I will be doing, uh, probably try to do like bi-weekly blood tests so you guys can see my testosterone level free test or if anything, you know, all the changes that are going on as my body develops. I think it'd be cool um, to do. And, you know, even though I don't have that, um, you know, that super knowledge like uh, Derek has, have more plates, more dates. Um, maybe he can look over it as of how I'm looking at the moment and stuff. and and uh, really, you know, break it down. So it's content for him, content for me. Everybody gets to see, you know. So uh, I think it'll be pretty cool to have, but I'll catch you guys later.